Hi everyone, it's Linnea with a video for LDRS Creative and today I'm using some of the fabulous products from the August 2019 release to create a simple winter themed card. So to start off with here I have the Cardinal Seasons stamp set and this stamp set features a bunch of cute images. There's some layering images, there's a little branch with the pine needles on it, a birdhouse, and this is one of the new Petal Pusher stamp sets. So this actually has special dies that you can use if you're using the flowers. It'll cut out just portions of the petals so that they pop up, and if you are stamping the cardinals directly onto your card front that has a couple little dies that you can line up with their wings so that their wings pop up. I won't be doing that today, I'll be cutting out the entire die cuts, but that is such a cool idea for this stamp set. I love it so much. So I have grabbed the cardinal layering stamps, the branch, and then a couple of the pine sprigs as well. And I'm just going to use my LDRS Creative Hybrid Mini Ink Cubes to ink them up. So I'm starting off here with the pine needles and I'm using the evergreen ink. I'm just going to ink them up twice. These are brand new stamps. This is the first time I'm inking them. So um, there's like that film from the creative process on there. Totally normal, but it kind of resists the inks a little bit. So you're going to see here when I stamp down this twig and I am using coffee bean ink. It's kind of splotchy and the ink doesn't transfer very well. Since I'm using my stamp platform, there's that's no problem. I was just going to stamp them up again. But I'm going to show you a trick here in a minute to kind of avoid that with the cardinals. I am just going to take my fingers and you see me here, I'm just rubbing them across my stamp and you're going to see that stamp turn kind of cloudy instead of clear and that is just kind of scratching away the surface of that stamp. So when I ink this up with Kiss Me Red, you're going to see that this only takes one shot. I only have to stamp this once and I get great coverage. You're going to see the difference between this and the tree branch. So if you are experiencing trouble with your inks when you are using brand new stamps, try that out. Try just using a cloth or your fingers to just kind of buff off the little extra film that is on there from the creative process. It's totally normal that that's on your stamps, but I just like to take that top layer off and it kind of helps the ink hold on to the stamp a little bit better. So these cardinals are a layering image. They're so cute. So I'm going to grab the Scarlet Rose ink and that's going to be my second layer, that darker red color. And you saw me there again just using the, my fingertips to run across the stamp and you're going to see when I ink this up and stamp it down, I'll get a perfect dark red image on my first try. And you're going to see this ink starting to build up and create those little cardinals. So I will go in then with Raven ink and stamp the little uh, faces as well as the scarf. And then I just use some blue alcohol markers to color in the scarf. This stamp set has a coordinating die set, which I absolutely love. Makes it so much easier. I know there's a lot of cutting machines these days, but I find that there's nothing like the look of dies. I love how they have that rounded corner when you cut them out and the images just look so perfect. So I'm going to just position the dies over all of my images, the branch, the birds, and the little pine sprigs. I'll use some masking tape to tack them down and then I'll run them through my die cutting machine and pop out all those little pieces. I use the new practically square die set and this is the largest uh, kind of like little scallop square and I die cut a piece of pattern paper from the Christmas Cottage paper collection and this is new from the August release as well. I thought these little birch trees with the cardinals were so cute and so perfect for adding the cardinals from the Cardinal Seasons stamp set. 
So I'm just gonna start gluing on my twigs, adding those pine sprigs behind there, and then I'll use a bit of foam tape behind the birds to pop them up. And I will also use some foam behind the actual die cut pattern paper and put that onto a square card. Stamped a sentiment and added that at the bottom and that completes my card. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.